Jeff and Jeremy. It's like a radio gasm. I said, hey, babe, check it out on the podcast. Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and Spotify. All this is going viral. What do you got over there? Just sounding busy. Papers make you sound busy. <laughs> Try that. Yeah, see, that makes you sound really busy. <laughs> oh, makes you sound man. like an important person. It's Monday. It's early. It's funny. Right? I come in here this like morning. Important. Start looking around, and kind of our routine is to get in here early and start looking around for things to talk about. And I'm thinking about this is totally me on the weekends and vacation. There's a study done about people shower less during the pandemic. Now, we were working every day, so and we were coming to work. So I was showering normal. But most people were, would go, if they were working from home, a week without showering. It's kind of a long time. Those, I, I don't know how much I showered with those weeks when I was forced to stay at home. You had to stay home for a couple weeks. I remember that. And there was a lot going on. And it was like, by the end of the day... I'd like when you don't have to up. get dressed to go to work, you just kind of get up and I start I, working. I wear a t-shirt and basketball shorts to bed, and on the weekends I just get up and I go upstairs. I make coffee and I get on my computer, start you know looking around at stuff and doing things. The next thing I know, you know, if I'm going to go out and get something to go to the store, I put a hat on and you know. Especially with some of the stuff and, that we do, it's so time sensitive that it's like you know we we just we just jump into it right away, and it's it's funny because um, I don't know. I can tell you this. I don't think I showered much during that time, like once a week, probably. Yeah. When I'm on vacation, I don't shower. You know, you swim a lot when you're on vacation, right? Yes. I mean, sometimes in a pool. That's my thing. When I go to see my parents, we'll be there four or five days, and my wife, she she's a shower. Doesn't matter. She'll shower twice a day. Sometimes she likes the bath too. She just likes being in water, but apparently not the pool because she's rarely in the pool. But I'm like, I'm in the pool. There's chlorine in there. It's killing more than whatever the ivory soap Dude, is going to do. That is, spring. that is so. That is, makes you so much cleaner. I'm sorry. If right? You, you're moving through a body of water at somewhat fast speeds. You don't do that in the shower, okay? You're getting a trickle. You're getting a trickle of water. And even if you've got great pressure, you're getting a blasting of water. It doesn't matter. It's still, you're hitting areas while you're not hitting other areas. Whereas when you're in the pool, you're fully emerged. Five to ten minutes max in the shower. Probably more closer to five. Pool, at least 20, 30, 40, yeah, maybe an hour. Yeah, maybe even longer. I and mean, I may jump in and out, jump in and out, but I'm still getting in and I'm out of that pool. We're having this discussion because it's pool season at our house. And I have gone back to pandemic shower schedule, okay, because it's pool season. If I'm in the, sh- if I'm in the pool for an hour, why am I going to bother with taking a shower yeah, that night? Thank My you. wife is of a different mindset altogether. She is like, she is like, oh, once you're in the pool, you got to take a shower, get all that gunk off the, in, the, in the pool. I'm like, gunk? gunk. It's bleach that you're swimming in. Yeah, it's chlorine bleach, and there's a filtration system that we we have a guy come out and maintain. Yeah, yeah. we pay for that. Yeah, yeah that's keeping me clean. I a guy like $130 a month right now. A to, lot of water in there. To clean me. I'm not going to pay extra for a shower. I always thought it was because of their hair. Women have hair, and they have to wash it and condition it. I have noticed. Do all that kind of I stuff. I have noticed because the kids are torn. They don't know who to believe, mom or dad, on this one. I'm sure they'd and probably rather really believe you. because he's got short hair like me, yeah. right? But my daughter, oh, man, she looks like. <laughs> you know those older ladies that like spend a lot of time living in desert communities and how their hair just never recovers? You mean it just looks frizzy and kind yes, of whacked it's, out? My my daughter's hair starting to look like that. <laughs> so maybe my wife is onto something. So if you have a pool, then don't worry about it. it you know, p- pandemic, pre-pandemic, post-pandemic, just jump in the pool. You know, and then you know everyone. You know, but I still take showers. I do too. And if it's if I'm around a bunch of guys, and well, we do shower in the river. I just love the way my skin it's, smells. We're like. not when you're not in a pool, you know, when you're in the ocean or the river. You got to shower then, because you know, come on, the, the rivers move though. There's current there, so yes. you feel like it's a little better. But I bring a bar of soap, and I like to get down there every third or fourth day. Yeah, the river's constantly moving. Lake, not so much. Um, yeah, lakes are, can be kind of gross. Like, lakes can be gross on. if it's a smaller lake. If it's a big lake, then you're fine. Um, Algae bloom and all that. Yeah, that's true. Um, 
don't you love the way your skin smells? Like when you're going to bed after oh, a day, after, after a, a pool? Day, long pool day. It's fresh. And you smell your skin and it's like you ha- you smell chlorine. You smell bleach. And you're like, yeah, I'm clean. Then you get into like, oh my God. And then you get into sheets that have just been freshly uh, bleached. <laughs> oh my God. <gosh. laughs> it's a dream. I love the smell of bleach. Uh, we have a lot going on today. Of course, the playlist continues. Uh, we're going to play somebody's playlist at some point today between now and 6 o'clock. If your three songs are in, you can win money instantly. It's the KZOZ $1,000 playlist brought to you by Perry Ford Lincoln. Uh, we're going to be giving away a $25 gift card later uh, just after 8 o'clock to the Human Being Coffee Stand. Oh, God, we got a lot of stuff to get away with. Uh, we also have a free pizza later from Mama Leah's. We love that uh, getting new sponsors on the show. Uh, that's coming up at 9 o'clock this morning. All you have to do is text the program. If you're one of the lucky ones selected as we loved your text, make it a good text. Don't just say hi or good morning. You know, Throw I something mean, good I, in there. I, I mean, it could be a joke. It could be whatever, something we're so talking Jeremy about. Jeremy goes towards jokes. I kind of like the ones that leave us guessing. Like, what is he talking about? Like, the guy that's like... On Friday with the injection in the stomach. He's like, yeah, the injection messes with your stomach. Like, how do you... What does it matter? You're dead. We didn't even qualify that guy's information. Like, how does he know his information? You just said that he heard from... uh, He saw it on TV or something. People or something. Stomach, they gave him the injection. His stomach started getting all jacked up. That's not a way I want to go, okay? You know, just to come back to that for a minute, um, what happened to the electric chair? I mean, that was punishment right there. It was scary looking. It oh, yeah. was scary to watch. Uh, obviously, they found it inhumane. That's why they got rid of it. But now that's that's the way you you prevent South people Carolina from committing shooting. Do you want to be tortured in an electric chair? Okay, maybe I won't kill this family. I don't know. We were talking about it on Friday. South Carolina is bringing back the firing squad. It got us talking about it. That conversation's over on our Facebook page at Jeff and Jeremy. You can also find us there on Instagram and our Twitter feed. Join the program anytime, 805-543-3693 on the 805 Beer Lines. You can call or text there. We'll be right back. Whoa. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. All right, you know what? I think we could just slow down on these robots and these droids. Drones, not droids, sorry. Drones. I guess they're droid cars did you see the new pizza a domino's pizza commercial with the noid yeah. and the electric car no does it heat the pizza while you deliver it or something no it just it just delivers it it's a battery powered car and it's it's that's oh. how they're going to start do driverless oh, delivery control uh whatever like, like cooler type thing yeah yeah it looks no, like I mean, it looks like a giant cooler it does and then the little door like star trek opens up or star wars and then you you get the pizza the problem is okay. now the guy yeah. doesn't come to my door i gotta go outside to the street i'm not going to the street you what if it's me? what if it's cold <laughs> although you don't have to tip anybody if you, go, if you go to the street right you don't have to tip anybody i didn't think about that maybe i'm on board now i always felt the tip is too much it's like come on what am I giving you five bucks for? Because you drove it here. I mean, I'm already paying for a delivery charge, aren't? Don't you mostly? I never get stuff delivered. Isn't there usually a delivery charge built in? Sometimes, yeah. And then it says on the receipt. It's been a long time since I've got delivery pizza, but I remember it saying on the receipt, the delivery charge is not a tip for the driver. Yeah. So you have to tip the driver. If you get it too. from a chain like Domino's or one of the other ones, it usually will have a charge. I know that I went to a local pizza place and they deliver for free. So, you know, I felt good about giving that guy five bucks. According, I, according to, oh gosh, if you're a, if you are a, um, pizza delivery guy, this is the place to be. California. Oh no, I'm sorry. It is not the place to be. The place to be is Massachusetts. According to ZipRecruiter, the annual salary for, um, somebody who is delivering pizza in Massachusetts. Is twenty eight thousand eight hundred and fifty five dollars. That is the most. Hawaii comes in second, but Hawaii cost of living. You got to take. What do you get paid an hour to be a pizza guy? I think it's about minimum wage. California is middle of the road. Eleven eighty two is what they're making. So I mean, I don't know. Ask yourself um, next time you get a pizza delivered. Um, would you like to be making eleven eighty two an hour? I mean, maybe, all you have to do is, that person does deserve a tip. I don't it's know. not like there's any stress to your job, right? You just pick up the pizza, you take it to the person's house, knock on the door, you, you give it lost? to them, and you leave. If you get lost, there's an incredible amount of stress. Well, you got GPS maps. I gave a friend you got Google Maps. You got iMaps. I know, but got, I, I gave a friend my address the other day and just assumed that he'd show up at my house. Oh and, my God, I've been to your house. It's a maze. And I he, followed your wife there. I could never he uh, find it on my own. He says, he says to me, he goes, I'm standing outside your house. I'm like, yeah, I am too. Where are you at? 
<laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm walking up to your house right now. Did you give him directions or an address? I gave him an address, but he followed. He just followed willy nilly. Followed his GPS, and then um, I was like, "What's it look like where you're at?" Turns out he was one street over because there's a, like an identical house called the sack oh. with um, identical house numbers right on the street next to me. So, and in a neighborhood, there's usually about four or five plans they'll go with. So there could be a house that looked like yours. Too. Yeah, this house didn't look like mine, but he, I didn't tell him my house plans. <laughs> well, he's never been there, right? So he, he wouldn't know. Yeah, he had no idea. It's like, I'm standing outside your house right now. You have like a, a railroad truck? I was like, Jason, you know me. Why would I have a railroad truck? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. I thought I knew you well, but I didn't know. It's been it's a long time since you know, we at talked. At that point, I would say, you know, Jason, we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> and I don't want you coming over. So I, I just think, hang out. And I said, I said, go Good down, luck. go down to the other street and see what the cross street is and see what the, the street sign says. He's like, oh yeah, you're right. I'm not on your street. I said, go one street over. That's that's where we're at. So I mean, pulling up the street. I was like, hey, how's it going? I I don't know how I feel about this. I mean autonomous delivery vehicles i mean is this really where we're at now or is this something that they're talking about doing for the future because i mean in the commercial it made it seem like this is the way Domino's gets delivered now i've always been a pickup guy but what if i have a gate what is does the can the thing call me probably not right just sit there at the gate and just run into the gate (laughs) 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 do damage to your gate that's an expensive pizza wake up Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Jeff and Jeremy here. You're home for the $1,000 playlist brought to you by Perry Ford Lincoln. You can still submit. We're doing it all this week. Next week, we've got a $1,000 playlist to give away. That's $1,000 to you just for entering three songs. All your job is to have KZOZ on and listen. If you hear your three songs play, call or text in, and you could be an instant winner. Last week, people were flying from Key West to Charlotte. Um, They encountered bad weather okay uh the plane already left late because there were thunderstorms um down there so they had always got to be bad weather down there in key west right really, it's very tropical yeah like storms i mean florida in general i mean any year any, round anywhere anywhere in florida you're you're dealing especially in the summertime um so they had to land the plane in charleston not charlotte and um they had to stay there on the ground for an hour and 22 minutes um the pilot and you have to stay on the plane right they don't let you off the plane they don't take you to the tarmac or the, i'm sorry they don't take you over to the gateway no. and let you go in the airport this happened to you us to once sit, yeah in florida where there was thunderstorms in tampa and because there were thunderstorms they let us off the plane but we got off the plane and then the thunderstorms were like mounting down on us and then they're like um okay good we got you guys off the plane the problem is our crews can't safely go out there and unload your plane so your baggage is on the plane. So we sat in baggage claim. At least you got to s- get off the plane, not just sit it there. Sucked. I've had to sit on a plane for an hour and a half before. A little plane, too. It was like an 80-seater. Sucked. But at least just think, sitting on the tarmac I think if waiting make you for sit on the plane, they're going to give you stuff because they're going to feel bad for you. Whereas they, they didn't give us anything. Once you're in baggage claim, you're in baggage claim. You're on, the, you're on your own dime, man. I mean, they might have came through with some sodas or something. Like, oh, can you want a water or soda or coffee or something? And it's just dumping. It's just pouring down rain. I've never seen rain so hard in my life. So I'm not, I'm kind of glad that they're not getting our luggage because it would get soaked anyway. Right. So we're just sitting there watching out the window for three plus hours. Oh, wow. That was how big it was. It was a big storm. And um, and they, they couldn't, you know, those guys couldn't go out there because of the, the thunderstorms. Um, we didn't get anything from that. So uh, the the plane was forced to land in Charleston on its way from due to po- bad weather from Key West to Charlotte. Which airlines always said, "Oh, we can't control the weather, so you just have to deal with it." Right, like you had to sit in the airport for three hours and wait. Um, but um, when the plane uh, and and they had to stay on the plane on the tarmac, they couldn't go to the gate. They couldn't. They, I'm guessing uh, when you were in that situation. And you got to get off the plane. I'm guessing you never left the 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 gateway thing or the thing, or the you know the breezeway, whatever that's called. No, we did. We got to go inside. No, I'm saying the plane never clo- oh, like left. No, 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 no. So you you got on the plane and they said, you know, what, we're going to get you back off because we've never pulled away from the gate. No, we were at our destination. For for us, for us, we were at our destination. Oh, you were just waiting for your. We were bags. just waiting for the bags, and oh. we we're watching, you know, out there as the crews were assessing the situation and the thunder, and they're like, "Yeah, we can't do it." 
can't get these bags off. I see. So okay. we just sat there. I thought you were hopeless. in a situation where you were got on the plane and then they said, we're oh, like, we got to get you back off. We were like 75% of the way there. <laughs> I just needed our bags. That's it. That's a Long suck. trip. Dude. That sucks. Yeah. Did they have a bar? I would have sat at a bar. Yeah, but that's a long trip. You that's go from California to Florida. Doesn't matter. I would have said that's even more why I'd sit at a bar. I, they start their I wouldn't day, care that they're charging. They start their day twenty hours a before drink. we do. So if we're leaving, even if we leave at six o'clock in the morning here on on the West Coast, we're leaving at nine o'clock their time. I mean, it's a long day. Um. So the pilot felt bad for everybody having to sit there for an hour and twenty two minutes. Now, I I would think most pilots in this situation would just say, "Oh well, it's car, you know that's the cost of doing business," but. He, when the plane touched down in Charlotte, bought pizza for everybody. So everybody had to stay on board the plane. They couldn't get off like you did. They had to stay in their seats. Yes. And he had pizza delivered to the plane? No. Uh, he ordered pizza for everybody on board. So when the flight finally touched down in Charlotte, six hours after its initial takeoff from Key West, which should typically be like a two-hour flight, um, they, he said, you know what? Uh, we feel We feel terrible. Um, you know, we've arranged it with the pizza place. I don't know how this the, the, Sabaros. Yeah, whatever the pizza place is in Charlotte. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and grab yourself a slice of pizza on the way out. Now, little gestures like that from corporations make a world of difference. Yeah. This was American Airlines. I want to just say that because Americans not known for their customer service. It's great. No, that's a great move. And that guy should be running the company. I mean, <laughs> I mean seriously, really you really should be the CEO. Because, I mean, what does that end up costing the company? Nothing. Really? Nothing. Like 40 bucks? Fifty bucks, maybe. And, and, I don't and, care if it's four hundred dollars; it doesn't matter. I mean, and every, anybody who was on that plane would be like, "Yeah, that was a miserable experience." But you know what? Was that was nice pizza. that they got us some pizza on the way out of the, at yeah. the airport. Dude, We're starving. As people, we are really easy to please, yes. and we are really easy to forgive. Wasn't it, it Michael it Scott? A little said, gesture that said pizza was the greatest equalizer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After he held the kid hostage for bringing, for wanting a tip, maybe maybe the pilot is a big fan of the office. Oh no, it was like, the coupon. He's yeah. like, "What do you do when you piss off a bunch of people? <laughs> Buy pizza."